<laughs> Almost vomited immediately. What is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, we are taking a look at the brand new Masters of the WWE Universe Grayskull Mania Battleground for the Superstars of WWE Turnia. Power posing terror claws, Triple H, John Cena, playset ring thingamajig stuff. God, what a long-ass intro. All right, guys, so I was at the Wally World with the face wife. We're going down the aisle. You know, we got to check the figures. We always check the figures just in case they have some parts that I need or some custom fodder or something, you know. Maybe we could do a toy hunt, you know. And my Walmart, right, like I literally live right beside this Walmart, and it literally never, ever has a John Brown thing. You guys see by my toy hunts, we don't do toy hunts on this channel very often. It's usually a month or two months apart, sometimes three months apart, because my Walmarts never get jack shit. So we don't get jack shit. We don't ever get anything. So I figured, you know what, Brad, I always check just in case you never know. So we always check, and when I checked t t today, yesterday, the other day, who gives a shit? When we checked, I found this WWE Masters of the Universe. I saw that everybody was finding them, so I figured, okay, there was only one left. And everybody else's Walmarts had like 12, so it just shows that every time my Walmart gets something, it's gone immediately. I got the last one, so I grabbed it, I took it to the house, and I'm making this video right now, and we're going to review it. The Masters of the WWE Universe It's obviously a mashup of He-Man and WWE. They put them together, here we are, and we're going to review this thing, and uh, it looks pretty cool. I think the packaging's pretty badass. It has a real old school, you know, retro vibe going on the uh, packaging here. You can see here, you have a beautiful image of 2009 Triple H in like 2015 Triple H trunks, and then we have like a 2009 version of John Cena. So, I, I it's like 10 years, they're, they're sending it back like 10 years here for this, and I don't know if that's because, you know, that's when Mattel started with the WWE figures. I'm not sure what they're thinking, but nonetheless, I mean, the figures look pretty cool over here in the packaging. We're going to crack it open. You do get a little image down here of the figures and what you're getting in your contents of the box. Spinning the hoe around. On the back, guys, you can see right here, it says, step through the energy ropes and into the ring of Grayskull, where the fate of WWE Eternia, or WWE Eternia, whatever you want to say, is decided. It is a no-holds-barred battle, and once the dust settles, the true champion will have the power. So pretty cool stuff. You yeah. get another sick image of Cena and Triple H on the back. You get a cool little ring. I don't think the rings, the ring ropes actually glow, which is kind of unfortunate, but you know, it is what it is. Going to take a look at over here, you can see you have some images of Triple H and what he does. Twist into powerful battle positions. John Cena there. Attached terror claws and for petrifying pedigree and armed with battle axe and shield to adjust attitudes. So pretty, pretty fire stuff. But what we're going to do, guys, is go ahead and crack it open, cover the contents of the box, review this thing, and see if it's actually worth it. For the price of $29.99 at Wally World, we're going to find out what the hell it's worth. So with that being said, let's go ahead and crack this hoe out of its packaging. All right, guys, so taking a closer look at the contents that come inside the box, one thing I do want to point out is right here. You see that right there? It says, highly articulated for power posing. Power posing, you say? So is that some type of freaking false advertisement in this hoe? Power posing. What does that even mean? Anyways, guys, it does come with a little, little, little instruction manual right here, as you can see. This is the contents. You get the ring. You get the little base steps that does separate. You get three turnbuckle posts, one turnbuckle posts turnbuckle posts with ring ropes. You get the sticker, you get the Triple H, the John Cena, and their accessories. Now, with the contents of the box, you saw right there that it really doesn't come with that much, and we are going to get into that because there isn't a lot that you get. Uh, here is the sticker, pretty cool logo. You have like the old flashback WWF logo, obviously not WWF because you don't want your ass to get sued by the World Wildlife Foundation, I think. I don't know. Which is the whole reason they had to switch to WWE in the first place, but you get the blue sword, red sword, nice green circle here to blend in with the ring so it just looks like the uh, logo is plastered on there with no outline. Here are the steps. You guys can see here that it does separate into two separate pieces. You clip this onto the front. It's kind of like those old Hasbro rings I think is what they're supposed to be. So you get that. You also get the beautiful looking Triple H figure which I mean it's pretty cool. I'm not going to lie to you. I think it's a pretty solid little figure. These figures do. We'll go over the articulation real quick for both of them. You do get head you know stuff. You actually get a head pivot in there which is pretty pretty ridiculous. Like that's a pretty 
pretty deep head pivot. He can look down. He can look up. Not as much because of the hair piece. Uh, you do get, uh, you know, arms can move out like this. They also pop out, I've noticed. Like, they popped out on me the first time, so they will pop out. It's not super loose, but um, it will pop out. Don't know why it's not doing it now, but I guess that's good. You do get elbow pads that you could remove if you wanted to. I don't know if they go hand in hand with elites, you know, if you wanted to put them on an elite for some custom or something. That's something to think about. I think we are supposed to get a full wave of these guys, like, you know, uh, Roman Reigns and Ultimate Warrior and other guys, Sting, I even think. Uh, I think there's going to be a full wave of these guys, much like the old Hasbros um, that are on hiatus, which I think they're dead, but, you know, they say they're on hiatus. Maybe they'll return, but I think this is the, the Masters of the Universe figures like this, I think, have replaced those, but I don't know, man. After feeling these in the hand, they're actually pretty nice. Like, I, I think these are really, really cool. I'm not going to lie. Maybe you don't need the ring, but if you wanted the ring, you know, you make a cool display. These figures may actually be pick, uh, worth the pickup. As you can, guys can see, we get waist swivel. Um, you also get these legs, which are on ball joints, and you can actually rotate the leg. You also get knee pads, which are also removable. You get boot swivel. You get uh, articulated ankles that have ankle pivot. You also get a little elbow swivel. No bicep swivel, which is unfortunate, um, but you do get these little Triple H claws that clip on there, and the hands actually have wrist articulation. They can, you know, hinge up and down like that, and I think they also rotate. So you get quite a bit of articulation out of these guys. They're actually quite impressive, if I do say so myself. So that is the Triple H figures. Again, he does come with these massive iron claws, which actually look pretty badass. Um, they make for a cool, like, WrestleMania entrance and a pick fed or something. I don't know, just using my head to think outside the box. But there's the Triple H figure. We also get the John Cena figure, my boy. And again, these figures are from, like, 2010. They, I mean, they look like they are from 10 years ago. As far as their attires, you guys can see here, you have the orange attire for John Cena. Not sure why they went with that one. You do get a bicep band right here, which actually is removable. You get some cool wristbands, which I think this is pretty creative by the design team. They actually made it where his armbands are gauntlets, like iron gauntlets, so that's pretty wicked. I think it would have been cool if they did that with the bicep band, but it's no big deal. You get this, like, shield-type vest with his logo from that orange t-shirt that he rocked back in the day, like, 10 years ago, as I've stated. On the back, you could unclip it if you wanted. You know, he comes out to the ring with it, and then he removes it, throws it in the crowd to all the weirdies. Um, as far as his articulate, oh, wait, 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 let's cover the, uh, the accessories right here. You do get a nice, clear, translucent blue axe, which is pretty cool. You also get a translucent shield that does clip to his armband right here, or his, uh, his, uh, gauntlet. The biceps and everything are the same as far as articulation. You get the little elbow wiggle right there. No ab crunch or nothing. He does have the same head articulation. Like, look at that deep head pivot, man. That is wicked nasty farticles. He can look up a little bit more than Triple H. Uh, he does have the ball joint legs, waist swivel. He has single jointed knees, calf rotation, foot rotation, and a foot pivot, sort of. He doesn't have as good of a... Okay, yeah, he does. He does have ankle pivot. Um, this is like his boot articulation, so he doesn't have really lower leg articulation. I mean, it is, but this is more of the same as the Triple H as far as that's where the boot would be um, on Triple H. Um, the knees, it doesn't look like they molded knee pads. They sort of just painted his knees black, which isn't a big deal to me. Um, you don't get thigh swivel or anything with this guy, and that is the, tr the John Cena figure. Pretty wicked, dude. I think they're both pretty badass. The, the, these figures, I think, once the full set hits the stores. I may have to pick these up, dude. I think they're going to be really cool, uh, really fun to pose around and stuff, as you guys can see. But uh, this is not all you get, obviously. You get the two John Cena and Triple H figures right there. And then you get the ring, which I'm going to assemble right now. And Wallabushka, baby, we got it. All of it is completed. That freaking, dude, these ring ropes right here, my God, they took forever to untangle. It was like a freaking just cluster F of just F and awfulness. One thing I will say, guys, is the turnbuckle posts are really cool. I love that you have the skulls going on right here. You got all this iron detail going on. I'm going to pick the ring up because sliding it around is like just anal rape for the ears. The stairs, all they do is just clip to the bottom under here. Um, I really couldn't figure out a good way to do that. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so I, uh, oh no, they fell off. So I really don't know how to clip. Like, it comes with a little hook piece right here that goes under the ring. 
but I can't figure out a good way to get it to stay. It just won't stay. So I don't know if I'm just stupid or if I can't get it right. I don't know, but there is your ring, and uh, let's go ahead and put Triple H, whose freaking iron claws just keep popping off. I'm going to stick Triple H in the ring and uh, just see what the figures look like in the ring. Let's so put Triple H in the ring, and then taking John Cena, putting him in the ring. I mean, they scale pretty well with the ring. You get plenty of movability in there. You know you get all the good stuff going on. Power posing. I don't know, Brad. After doing the articulation for these things, I'd say they do have power posing. I mean, my God, these things are pretty fun to pose around. I know I'm not really big on gimmick figures and stuff like that and I'd much rather them focus on you know the elites and head scans and accessories but I can appreciate this wave I think they're really cool you know the ring does have some give to it it's not like those bouncing rings or the basic rings but I think it's pretty wicked I think it's pretty uh you know I think it gets the job done man I think you could do a lot of cool things especially if you know you're a like a flashback collector like if you grew up watching Masters of the Universe and He-Man and Skeletor Skeletor I always loved Skeletor I thought he was a fantastic character I think I need to make somebody come out in a pay-per-view in a Skeletor attire. That'd be badassery. But I think that is going to do it for this review of the Masters of the WWE Universe Grayskull Mania, guys. I think it was a really cool playset. Is it worth $30? I mean, uh, I don't know because I, I'm not sure exactly what your priorities are in your collection. You know, I think that the figures are super badass. So if you don't buy the ring, um, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to get John Cena and Triple H separately. So you may want to buy the ring just for the figures alone. I'm not sure they're worth $15 separately. They're probably worth about $10. I think they're better than basics. I think they're better than the regular basics we get from Mattel. These figures are much better than basics in my own personal opinion. And actually, the more I look at it, guys, it does look like they have a single-jointed elbow. And uh, I couldn't get mine to bend, but it looks like they do bend, so that's cool, too. It's another point of articulation. No double joints, but, I mean, they're they're pretty solid. Do I think you could do a pick fed or something? Probably not. Uh, nonetheless, I think this is a really badass playset slash uh, figures. The figures are really cool. I mean, the ring's cool if, you know, your kids play with it or, you know, you want to get it for, as a uh, Christmas present. I think it's a really cool little, you know, Christmas present. You know, it's a pretty cheap Christmas present, too. $30 is pretty solid. I mean, that's literally just 10 more dollars than one Elite figure at Walmart. But that is going to do it for the review, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. I had a lot of fun with the review. I had a lot of fun just posing these guys around. Again, I would recommend this playset. I think it's pretty solid. Huge shout out to Mattel for uh, making this. I think it's a really good product. But that is going to do it, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. I think I've decided for that new series, if you guys missed Action Figure Surgery yesterday, I think I've decided for that new series, I'm going to call it thinking outside the box is what i'm going to call that new series thank you guys for watching subscribe to the channel for more epic wwe action figure videos follow me on instagram and twitter at my name toys and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you